Right, we're playing uh, Jorna's Medieval Brawl uh, Season 2, Episode 3. I wasn't able to play last week because I forgot to play the required ladder games. Oops. But uh, either way, we made it into the third edition where the brackets are in front of you. I have myself against Dogao in game one. Vinches is the uh, other two players in our bracket. Rick Nandy Yo and Barl Snace is Yem. Uh, I want to see the map pools of Badlands, never heard of. Four Peaks, never heard of. Frisia, never heard of. I've played that many times. Hidden Ponds, never heard of. Mega Random, Personal Pizza. So it's best of three all the way to the final. So round of 16, or round of eight, is Mega Random game one, and then one home map each. I pick four peaks. So the guy picked Badlands. I really don't know exactly what to pick. So four peaks, I'm thinking probably in Japanese or Persians. Badlands could be Mongols map, so let's ban them. I guess I prioritize Persians. Gujara, which map is Gujara for? Let's do Japanese. Lithuanians? I don't know. I really don't know what Civs to pick here. Like, it's also best of, best of three, so it's extremely fragile. Would have probably helped to put a little bit more time and effort into those maps, but here we are. Holes could be decent on Mega Random, to be fair. But if there is water, probably not. I mean, Chinese should still be pretty good on Badlands, I think. Let's do that. What Civs does snipe, though? Right now, I'm actually leaning towards sniping Hindustanis or Malians. Wait, I can see that he banned Japanese already? Malians. I think I'll go with Chinese on Badlands. Four picks will do Persians, like random. Probably Portuguese over Lithuanians. My prediction is Badlands is versus Gujara versus Malay, Hindustanis. All right, I'm gonna put chat away. I don't think, I mean, I would prefer to be able to read chat and whatnot, but I'm not sure if they will like if we do that. Probably should check with him. That's cool or not. Oh, we went, oh, it's two TC. Oh shit. And we don't have a scout. I'm actually not sure if Gujara for 2TC is good or not. Oh shit. This is not what you want for your first game of the day, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, we need to do some very active sheep scouting here. Looks like he just noticed. Yeah, there's more sheep. There's a lot of sheep though, which is potentially good for Gujara, but then again... It's not like before. The sheep don't scale as incredibly as they used to. Don't see any water yet though, not that I have looked actively, but... But yeah, you know. Yeah, what's good is we have dragon trees right next to our TC, so we can probably delay Lumber Camp a little bit as well, until we're 100% certain that we are maintaining villager production. And I'm gonna send one sheep to scout a bit far, just to make sure there is no water. A lot of sheep around. Might only be one boar on each side as well. Based on what we're seeing so far. I think I would like to go organ guns here. If I go for a forward woodland, we have a back one. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, there's a ton of sheep. We'll pick up those. These guys might go idle. Let's take some berries when... As soon as the wood comes in. Berries is gonna be super helpful here as Portuguese. Get that extra wood. Okay. I'd say so far so good, all things considered. There's another pair of sheep there. 
we'll go for those those as well Alright, that's not the best sheep to eat, but okay, I'll forgive you. Yeah, I think there's only one boar on each town center. Now we have to make a decision on strategy. Wall stone, everything is quite safe. Why don't I wall in the right, left side? Right side looks a bit more exposed. So we already kind of wall in the left side in case it's going some few late shenanigans. And we only have to worry about one side. Or defending one. On paper. I mean, you could always put pressure where I have to defend both sides, but you know. You know what I mean. I think it's good for us that there are no scouts, because he's more likely to want to play scouts as well. So, yeah. I think we have 38 bills. I think we're at a point where we can start thinking about castleage. All right, I think all in all, this start has been, fa been fairly smooth. I think that's the right, right location. Don't know for sure though. All right. Are we fully walled here? Yeah, it should be. We shift a lot more to stone. And cast this shouldn't be too far away. But then again, he can also play a fast gasoline to show him Shirai, for example. It can also be quite tough. Since we have time now, why don't we just also wall the bottom part? Why leave it open? Getting yeah, to cast this should not be a problem, but it looks good. That's a little bit faster though. Not sure if he's gonna use that for anything. Looks like there's a lot of sheep spread out on the map as well. What? Are, wait, we could have gone. We could. Mm, I'm starting to play with the idea of going fast imp in Fatoria. Uh, seems a little bit risky though, I have to say. Okay, I'll do it like that. Quite easy to wall, to be fair. The mill there. Okay, only the front is open here. Don't have any vision. Yet. So the left side is kind of my mineral side. I mostly take gold and stone on the left side. We'll spread out and take some lumber on the right. And what not. Probably drop a castle. Kind of want it on the hill though, but that feels risky. 
Wait, Deer is being killed there. Why is Deer being killed there? That's scary. Yeah, I might have to... Wait, is it... Maybe he's taking the Deer. That probably makes sense. Why don't we be a bit ballsy? Cast on the hill here looks perfect if he's like actually taking resources here. We'll do it. It's a pretty nice hill to drop a castle on as well, to be fair. And complain. The monastery, take the stone there. To follow up and start pressuring with organs. Living the dream. He has one scout out. No upgrades though. Yet. I don't remember how Shivam Shivaris do against Orngans. That is one thing I don't remember. Okay, there's a... They stare. We're pretty much already ready to drop a second castle. Question is, how ballsy do we get with this one? Is that too ballsy? Well, even if it is, YOLO. Yeah, yes, sure, I'm sure it is. But they're on the other side of the map, so they won't be able to deal with this castle. Which is great. Usually he's leaving that space. Oh, not like this. We know he has something in the... In the workshop. We don't know what, though. I think this is looking pretty good already. Convert! Yo, what? How long do I have to convert to get a conversion? That ain't right. Not sure what he has in there. It was an elephant. You want to push? Wait, does he want to push my castle? Oh, he has a forward as well. Oh, he wants to push my castle. This is thinking about it. I don't know how much damage Oregon's do to elephants. Solid damage. Let's see what angle he comes from. Yeah, he can't really. I'm gonna save my stone for now because I might have to do a defensive castle on the on the left side. Seems fine. Feel in a very comfortable spot. Let's just keep taking control of the middle, I think. We could drop another castle somewhat forward there. I think I'd rather get a castle in the center. Okay. 
You can like this should be good. Oh yes, come come come. Okay, they do not dodge projectiles too well. You might take the opportunity to push my castles though. Yeah. It's a lot of elephants, but then again, it's gonna lose a lot of stuff in the process here. Yep. I'm fine with that. I'll lose the castle, but... Will I? Yeah, we will. But you can convert elephants without redemption? Didn't know that. Okay, he just calls it. GG. Well, it ended up being a perfect. I'm not sure how far behind he fell in the opening, given that he said, like, it seemed like he didn't notice the second teaser for a, for a bit. But still, if you get this kind of type of thing going with Portuguese, one base fully walled, and you can just go full Oregon gun pressure on the other side, it's it's too much. It could go Imperial Age as well any second. Way easier to play wood gold unit and land, uh, food unit as well. In situations like that. All right, let's do it. Bye, chat. Then again, why am I Chinese when there's a nine villager start? I'm stupid. I'm thinking RM, Chinese are great, but it's nine villager start. Chinese are shit. I'm stupid. Wait, how much wood do you start with? Wait, what? Is this supposed to be a regicide? Like this? Like what? I'm so confused. Why do we start with so many resources? Oh, the, well, we can go for areas anyway, but. Yeah, I forgot that Chinese are shit on my little start. But let's see. I did not know we start with this amount of resources. What's this sieve, by the way? Nistanis. So much shortfish. Did you take wood as well, though? Where should I take wood? Let me check how much wood there is on these trees. I don't trust any resource to be the standard at this at this point. 200. How many trees are there? Yeah, it's probably worth it. Oh, cheap. <laughs> Wooden the center are like mixed with one and two, like one hundred and two hundred trees. Okay. We just play cavalry here. That's what we play. Stable. Maybe I want to, you know what? I'm thinking I probably want a lumber camp in the middle so I have more of a presence in the middle of units or villagers that can help fight. And again, do I? You know what? No, because I want to take food in the middle anyway. Yeah, whatever. Either way works. Yeah, that's a nice one, actually. He went to the middle. 
Damn, my wood is super exposed for the time being. But okay. But this is cracked terrain. Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. Note to self, check the maps a little bit better next time of actual starting resources and such. Stable. I'm going to do a stable as well. Oh, you can't build any. Wait! Oh shit, you cannot farm around your TC either then. At all. Ooh, that's a bit yikes. Oh, that's dangerous. in danger, he knows where it is. I feel like I might end up on the defensive here, since he was up slightly faster. Don't like that. Oh yes, oh he's already sending two spears there. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull everything. That's fine. Pulling a spear there as well. These fights are fine. We're just trading spearmen. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, crazy map actually. P. Go hide on the top side. I have way too much wood now. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. Where's my army? All of them are gone. Wait, what, what's happening here? Can you walk? Oh, you can walk over it. I was never safe. <laughs> I was actually never safe. Nice. Yeah, he has a healthy amount of spears compared to me. That's a great situation for us too. Not really been able to afford any upgrades. He doesn't either though. I won the spear fight here. I think that might be more valuable. Unless he's somehow switching to arches. Oh, we're all idle. Oh, he's adding arches as well. They were in big trouble then. My food equal. Oh, wait, you can afford multiple towers. Ew. What's up with my spears? I'm not committing here. I think we're in big doo doo. I think my only comeback is trying to just still mess stable units. If I can catch him off guard now with 
Oh, I don't have units here anymore. Okay, that's really bad. Kill the archers! Why is it not attacking? Oh god. Oh, that's fine. Hmm, yeah, we've been defending the whole game though. A lot of items. I put too many builds, builds on wood as well. We never needed this much on wood. I'm kind of going all in here now just on mess tables. That's potentially great. He doesn't have any upgrades on his scouts, so... Oh, that's bad. There's still a chance that he over commits at some point. That's bad. Don't have. Don't have gold to do um, bloodlines. He did forging though, to be fair. Maybe that's just for experiment. Take some gold now, uh, stone now, then we can do some towers to help us defend better. Dire situation. Ooh. That's a good find. It's not protected as of yet. Don't really have units on or villagers on the left side. If he pushes the left side, that's not really a problem for me. But rather try and catch damage there. I think he saw me though. Looks like his villagers ran away. Or running away. Correction. This is potentially huge, this moment for us right now. Just buying time. Fine. Like my army is definitely easier to play, but. Still has that archer mass, which is a bit scary. Looks like he's committed to Fulege, though. No, oh, he's killing my deer. My deer were innocent. I'm probably gonna bring back my scouts just to clean this up. Take it from there. No. Actually, only ended up losing one villager. Not too bad. I feel like he might be on the way to cast stage, though. Actually, no, he's still adding scouts. Two bloodlines now. There's a lot of scouts, actually. Mm. 
Another tower there. We can do some more towers to control his fish as well. I don't have wood income at all. A bit painful. Oh, he wants to come for the tower. It's fine. I don't really care about this anymore. Let's go counterattack. Although if he goes for my stone tower, that could be a cause for concern. Yeah, I don't have wood to follow all this. It's a good timing though. I'm, uh, I just finished Bloodlines, so we should get a lot of kills here. Oh, he trapped me though. Well, did he trap me with him or did it? I'm not sure what, who's getting better, better end of the stick there. <laughs> Losing a lot of villagers. Oh, it's still open. Oh my god, I get out of there as well. Oh my god, I killed so many bills. Wow. Wow. Got so much damage. Trying to buy time for my villagers to escape. Not sure how much time we bought, but. I need a tower on this bottom side. Secure whatever is left there. Oh, shit. Actually, we need a tower here. That's where we need a tower. We know that we have more um, villagers right now. Well, most likely. We took some damage earlier on, but... And pathing is really clunky and awkward here. Oh, he has a big army, though. But I have three towers here. Can he actually justify fighting in three towers? Not sure. game. You know what? I need to take wood in the middle. That's where I have safe safety. This area is not safe at all. <laughs> Castle Age? Well, it's really hard to get the Castle Age. I saw a chat message in my OBS. Oh. Oh, why don't I jump on that? These archer numbers are the potentially biggest problem for me. I don't have any farming though. Oh, I could have seen that. Go to the other side of the map. Oh, he has so many bills here. Yeah, he's relying more on farming right now. Yeah, those scouts are coming to chase mine. It's fine. There are no berries or anything there for me. Plus. Pretty crazy game. Where is the food on the side?
near the market to buy food. I was sure it would be food. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm losing all the bills there. I. Well, we're killing a lot of bills again on his side. Yeah, I think he's losing too much. I am wasting my whole army here, though. Or what I had standing from my army there, anyway. Is there no food at all? I thought it would be berries on the sides. Let's just take gold and we'll buy resources with whatever gold we get. I actually think I might be better off not making villagers anymore. I don't think they do much for me. I'd rather focus all my production on army. Which I'm kind of doing already to be fair, but... You know. Even things like this, sneaking two bills here, is actually huge. This will never be a good trace for him. He has a size of the archer army. The thing is, the archers can never... The archers can never go comfortably under the towers unless he has a significant scout army underneath. We have two towers here as well now. So yeah, again, I'm just gonna go counterattack. We are very happy with that. <laughs> his map is nuts. Well, he's gonna send all his archers there to kill those bills. Which means he's spending a lot of time there. And again on his farming. Yeah, we just need to go to his farming. Don't have bills here. So it, his army currently is investing time where there is nothing to kill. Well, my army is actually... That's the issue where he has archers in his composition, right? Initially, it gave him a lot of things going for him at the start. But at this point... I think the archers are more a weakness than a... Positive. Well, weakness is a strong word, but like, we'd rather have more scouts. Oh, well, that's actually weak. Yeah, I think it's snowballing in my favor now. That scout fight over there is what I feel like will be the biggest snowball initiator. He's gonna lose all his archers in the towers. I think this will be the GG. Yeah, that's the GG. GG? I thought I was pretty dead there early on. Felt like he got off to a way better start. What a crazy game, a map. Because you cannot put farms under your TC as well. Okay, I definitely, like, I saw berries here, and I, I was thinking there would be berries around the whole map. But I guess that's not the case. Yeah, full scouts and towers seems like it's a solid approach, though. Also, you start with extra villagers, extra resources, which was something I need to check. I need to check, then, how this all worked out. In the end, 53 to 49 villager high. Not a big difference. So you start with minus 100 food. Start with 300 stone, 100 gold. And 200 food normally, I guess. Maybe you have less food than 200 even. Oh, he went straight for the mill as well. He knew this map. So we're effectively... He doesn't have loom, so we're like still one villager ahead. 
That was the fight where my scout numbers disappeared. And this is where I was struggling to, to make... Even though I have 22 on food on paper, it's not the most efficient income. And my, my stable is idle. Will. Spearmen had to be produced non-stop. We're seven villages behind right now. Seven! Clean up this army and then we get into his wood line. We're still seven bills behind, so we're still massively behind. Yeah, this was a trade-off where I'm just gonna I'm sacrificing my scouts and I have towers at home. I think walling in this tower as well saved those five bills. But after this, he was six bills ahead. Now I'm eight villages ahead. <laughs> what a turn of events. Holy smokes. He does kill some bills as well, so there's only seven, six, five villages here as well. That was a crazy game. That was a lot of fun though.